into that first third, into first place. Rosie Gold, he's leading. Rosie Gold, come out of the corner. There a win for number 300, Wogie Giles. In second place, it was number 75, C Street. In third place, number 30, Mark Rowe. Fourth place was number 93, Steve Lee. Fifth place was number 124, Keith Strudwick. Sixth place, number 95. In the program. Fifth place, number 571, or is that 511?
two Pony Escapes. Then how you go to around, then more chocolates, then more drums, you win at the full knot, because it's bits off on the last corner. The win there for number 101, Tony Atkin. In second place, it was number 36, Mike Toplin. In third place, it was number 10, Dave Rumsey. In fourth place, number 3, Steve Muldoon. In fifth place, number 83, Colin Mills. In sixth place, number 216, Graham Pike. In seventh place, number 29, Paul Knott. The winner's time, 1 minute 15.97 seconds. Number 64, Chris Malone, you are excluded for cause cutting. 64, Chris Malone, excluded for cause cutting.
there, but that man got around the outside. He's really trying to make it through. But then that back straight, but his top wheel just in front. Can he hold that? It's bound to go a little bit wide on this turn unless he can cut it in tight. And just what he's done, brilliant piece of form and a brilliant race there for number one, two, three. Mike Reed and Mark Hall, then Tony Cook, and then Chris Hall, and bringing up the rear then, number 24, Tim Phillips, been there for number 143, Keith Richards, and Colin Haynes. In second place it was number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe, in third place number 10, Tony Cook, and his passenger, fourth place was number 4, Chris Hall, fifth was number 24. Tim Phillips. No six finisher. The winner's time, 1 minute 21.52 seconds. Into second on the first turn, they're really going for it here. Looks like it's Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen, the lead out of that turn. Oh, 
Down the flat though at the moment, we're going to go down that back straight. Come then, 184, John Hiscock. And Jason Gill on the 
Then Kenny Hamill and John Richards, and Dave Steer, Rob Sharak. Rob Sharak and Dave Steer move up into third place. So again, Kenny Hamill seemed to slow there somewhat. Around the last turn, for the last time in this one, race 10, coming to a close. Here goes the chequered flag, a win for Johnny Scott and Dave Steer, from Bernard Moore and Sonny Bellister. Dave Steer, Rob Sharak. Kenny Hamill, John Richards, number 184, John Hiscock and Jason Gill. Second place to number 73, Brett Osborne and Tony Bannister. Third to 17, Dave Steer. <laughs> and Rob Sharak. And in fourth place, it was number 11, Kenny Hamill and John Richards. Now the finishers, the winner's time, 1 minute 44.77 seconds.
things happening. First and second of 30. Well, it's all to just sort of sorted that out. I was going to say there's a bit of a battle coming on there between uh, third and fourth place. But look at uh, Mick Cole going after Kevin Thomas. Richard Thomas leading this one, Big Cole going after him. Those machines come half hour as they go down that back straight. It's all systems look out. Look at that passenger working hard, trying to block the uh, road through for Mick Cole. Mick Cole tries the outside line this time and he's got it. Mick Cole, Tony Bates, Big Lee. Richard Thomas. and Aubrey Steele in bringing up the rear. One more lap to go, Mick Cole, Tony Basie. The 
front Z. What's going to happen here? Dave Rumsey looks like he's holding a second place at the moment. overcooked it on that corner, he slides closely to earth, he's up and okay, has he kept the engine running? Yes, he's back on and away. Here they come again then, there goes the last that flag, it's quite confident, on Steve Mildew.
got a marvellous start in this one. I think he was one that broke down last time and uh, failed to finish, so he needs the points. 22, Gary Lloyd. Right battle there, remember we had a little battle first time out between these two outfits, that time Steve Ketchington got the best of it, with uh, King Drury being forced down to second, well King Drury's holding on to the second place in this one, ahead of Steve Ketchington. Steve Ketchington tries the outside very fast, very hard, Gary Lloyd not too sure what's going on behind him, taking that second place, not very wide though, Steve Drury and Richard Webb. Steve Kitchen going to the outside now of Gary Lloyd. Can he make it? Kicking his front wheel up alongside there for a little bit. He's having another challenge on this corner. He's taking that wide line round. Gary Lloyd taking his hold on the left side line. There goes the last left flag. Kitchen has made it into the front. Steve Kitchen just leads from Gary Lloyd, from Pete Drury, from Chris Hall. They come then, the checkered flag goes, and the win there for number two. Ketchum and Paul Hanna from Gary Lloyd and Dave Higgins. Keith Drury, Richard Webb. And Chris Hall, Alan Lee. Two, Steve Ketchington and Paul Hanna. Second place is 22, Gary Lloyd and Dave Higgins. Third place, number 91, Keith Drury and Richard Webb. And in fourth place, number four, Chris Hall and Alan Lee. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 25, 0.48 seconds.
start. It's Chris Salisbury that leads. Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen are coming round there to try and take that deep from them on that first turn. And Back up to running, Chris Salisbury. Sliding brilliantly round on the inside there to try and make up a few yards. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to do it. I think he lost a lot by it though, but uh, he got a gain on Lionel Cox. He wasn't given to it. Lionel Cox, Grace Hagen. Well here. Had a win the first time out, we're going to get another one here. Chris Salisbury in second place at the moment. Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes. Half that play goes now then for Lionel Cox and Gary Hughes. 418, Chris Salisbury. And Gary Hughes holding on to that second place. Then it's Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Well, it's all happening in this one. Round the last turn for the last time. There goes the checkered flag. Two in a row. Arnold Cox and Grace Aiken. Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes take second. Mike Reed, Mark Thorpe get third. Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen in second place was 418 Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes. In third place, number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. In fourth place, number 11, Ricky Neal and Clinton Lee. No other finishes, the winner's time at 1 minute 23.25 seconds. Oh, there's a nice man on the outside. I'm going to be the 
Looks like he's in a bit of pain, I should think, as he cruises off the circuit. Meanwhile, Chris Phillips leaving this one. Is that Jason Bunyan that's gone with him? Three on the turn, they come then. Flat out, Chris Phillips leading. Tony Atkin is in second place. It's Mike Poplis in third. Then Roy Sawyer Dave Brumsey. Well, that's really hotting up there as Chris Phillips leads Tony Atkin. Tony Atkin is one of the men to beat in local grass track. I like this local grass track, but uh, what's today's grass track racing? Tony Atkin is one of the men to beat. And can Chris Phillips put a ring on this one? That's the last lap flag. Chris Phillips is one away. Tony Atkin looks like he's in trouble. Mike Poplis is there in the third place. Tony Atkin was behind him or he wouldn't be going that quick. Tony Atkin certainly got trouble there with something while he's standing up on that machine. That is Mike Topless, Roy Sizemore, Dave Brumsey, Matthew Brown, John Shay. Race 21, race 21, heat 6. No, it's race 20, wasn't it? Race 20, I don't know what I've been drinking. That gets more of it, I'll tell you that. Race 20. Heat 5 of the 350 to 351 at the 500cc event. The win for number 42, Chris Phillips. Second, 101, Tony Atkin. Third, 36, Mike Topless. Fourth, 231, Roy Sizemore. Fifth, number 10, Dave Rumsey. Sixth, number 21, Matthew Brown. Seventh, number 71, an additional rider. Eighth was number 92, Mike Winter. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 17.70 seconds. Again, the 500 cc solos are away. Jason Bunyan, that looked like to me, picking it up from the front line. From the eyesight, it's not what it used to be. But it is, it's Jason Bunyan. From Mark Then Dean Harrison. Then Duncan Bradford. Then Dorsey but nine. Mark Taylor. I don't know if Neil Taylor at that second event. Second leg, I don't quite know what happened there. 84 then, Jason Bunyan, the winner's first time, Jason Bunyan, the winner's first time, Mark Tyler, Duncan Bradford, Dean Harrison, Kevin Buck. 47 minutes cold. Ask me if I'm a bit rusty on some of the also rounds here today, ladies and gentlemen, I've come a long way. 84 then, Jason Bunyan from Mark Giles, Mark Taylor, Duncan Bradford, Dean Harrison, Kevin Buck. Now these are the ones I don't understand. 47 Chris Coles. 116, 9 it's Benta. 9 and the front line, they're really going fast. There goes the second place, that's Jason Bunyan, second win out of two. Mark Giles, a good second place for him. Naughty but nice there in third place. Then Duncan Bradford. Dean Harrison and Kevin Bark. A right ding dong battle between this lot at the back. They started to lose there, can't they? Mark Chris Cole, Jake Teaching, Philip Spencer. Race 19, then race 19 in your program. Win there for one. No, race 19, I've done a bit further than that. What have I been drinking? Race 21, and a win there for number 84, Jason Bunyan. Second place, number 26, Mark Giles. Third place, number 170. Mark Taylor. Fourth place, 123, Duncan Bradford. Fifth was 251, Dean Harrison. Sixth was 27, Kevin Buck. Seventh was 47, Chris Coles. Eighth was 116, Dave Peaty. Ninth was 921, Phil Spencer. Tenth was 130, Mike Verm. Eleventh was number 35, Dave Barnaby. 
and 12 for number 45, James Peters. The winner's time, 1 minute 16.72. And that is Sean Conway Raker and Sean Woodley. Hotly pursued by number 15, Ivor Matthews. So Ivor Matthews comes through on the inside there, showing why he used to be Masters champion. Can he do it again this year? Donald Moore working very hard on the outfit to keep it online. Martin Matthews working the throttle to best advantage. Look at her pulling away there. From 71, Sean Conway Baker and Sean Woodley. And it's Dave Steer and uh, Rob Carrick. Number one, I think it's Kevin Stevens. Well, I'm certainly getting the grips for this circuit. Seems to like it here at Newton's, Martins, whichever we call it these days. Flat out out of that turn he comes. Looking at the last lap flag now. Ivan Matthews and Simon Wall. Simon Wall gives me a look as he goes by. Dave Steers make up the second. Ahead of Sean Conway Baker and Sean Woodley. Oh, not a good race there for Sean Conway Baker. Going from first back to third. But uh, a good one for Ivan Matthews. Good win for him. Second place, Dave Steer, Rob Carrick. Third place, Sean Conway Baker and Sean Woodley. And number 15, Ivor Matthews and Simon Wall. In second place is number 17, Dave Steer and Rob Sharrock. In third place, 71, Sean Conway Baker and Sean Woodley. And in fourth place, number one, Kevin Stevens and A.N. Other. Now the finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 31.56 seconds, that's 15, 17, 71 and 1. Now the finishes, 131.56. Fourth place, number 45, Neil Hiscock and Martin Smith. 
and in fifth place, number 75, Ray and Yano Glasscock. No six finisher, the winner's time, 1 minute 33.13. Uh, 
Street, Art Row. Steve Lee. Lee Street then leading this one. Looks like Wogie Giles coming on the strong now around the outside. Look at Wogie go, but I think he's just a little bit too excited. Lee Street leads. Lee Street won't get down. Keep struggling. And southeast at one, two, three at the moment. The boys have travelled to do this one, and they're getting the results right. There goes the last play. Lee Street from Keith Strudwick from Wogan Giles. Steve Lee speaks fast, Wogan. Trying out now, time certainly to get faster. And the last turn, for the last time, the chicken flag is up. 25, Lee Street takes the win, he's probably his second, then Wogan Giles, Steve Lee, Mark Rowe. Race 25, a win there for number 75, Lee Street. Second place, number 124, Keith Strunkwick. Third place, number 300, Wogie Giles. Fourth to number 93, Steve Lee. Fifth in the programme, number three. On the front of his bike, number three. And on the back mud cart, number 30. Please yourself, Mark Rowe. Sixth place, number 95. Seventh place, number 35, that's Dave Barnaby. Eighth place, number 20, Brett Selby. And in ninth place, number 159, Rod Elmore. Elva finishes the winner's time, 1 minute 21.64 seconds. Three solos, and here we go. Four horse race, or enough to be some of the next one. Around the first turn they come in, it's Paul Lock the lead. Paul Lock from Mike Lockman and Kevin Buck. And Jason Sizemore. Paul Lock, we're glad to pick up this win here after uh, dropping it in his first ride. Putting it into the final. Not with the big at the corner, it's Paul Lock. Mike Lockman. Kevin Buck. And bringing up the rear, Jason Sizemore. Steadily improving as the season moves on. Half that flag then, Paul Knox with one more lap to go, but Mike Coppice in second, then Kevin Buck on the west bike. Jason's about to uh, get lapped. Look at Mike Top is coming to the outside of Paul Knott. He means business. Lap out, they come out of that corner. Who's he going to do? The second play goes. The Paul Knott from Mike Top is in second. Then Jason Sizemore. Then Kevin, no, not Jason Sizemore. He's a lap behind. It's uh, Kevin Buck and then Jason Sizemore. In race 26, the 350cc solo. And a win there for number 29, Paul Knott. Second place, number 36, Mike Topless. Third place, number 27, Kevin Buck. And fourth place, number 31, Jason Sizemore. And now the finishers, the winner's time, 1 minute 19.77 seconds. Tony Atkins got the best of the start this time. As we go down to the first turn, Tony Atkins pulling away from the rest of the field. Michael Peters moving up in there. Quite a good start, the first turn for him. Here they come then. From number 94, Kevin Francis. Then Steve Mildoon. Steve Mildoon makes it up into his second place behind Tony Atkins. All systems go here at Wimborne. Lap out out of that turn 
in the uh, last boat break, that's for 101, the Tony Atkins. Tom Jane and Colin Mills, Michael Peters and Graham Pye. Checkered flag then, another 350 win for Tony Atkins. Kevin Francis, Colin Mills, Michael Peters, and Graham Pike. Race 27 and race 27. 350cc solos again, and the win there for number 101, Tony Atkin. Second place, number 3, Steve Muldoon. Third place, number 193, John Shanes. Fourth place, number 94, Kevin Francis. Fifth place, number 83, Colin Mills. 6th place, 137, Michael Peters. And in 7th place, number 216, Graham Pike. Now the finishers, the winner's time, 1 minute 19.44 seconds. Finally got to grips with this circuit. 
probably started off as one of the favourites to take this meeting and he's taken a bit of a pace in his first two rides but uh, seems to have sorted himself out now. In time for the final. There goes the last man back in number three. Ricky Neal and Clinton Lee. Number 24 there, Tim Phillips, a new man to the sport with his L plates on. There we go, that's the second flag. Malcolm Wynn and Gary Russell. From number 11, Ricky Neal and Clinton Lee. Mal Goodwin and Gary Rahul. Second place, number 11, Ricky Neal and Clinton Lee. In third place, it was number 49, Brian Canning and Ronnie Stewart. And in fourth place, number 33, Rob Wright and Rob Wells. In fifth place, number 24, Tim Phillips and Stuart Fairbrass. No six finisher, winner's time, 1 minute 21.28. Goes up to the first turn, who's like Bob Coddington is in second place. 
Keith Richards and Lawrence Matthews. 418, Chris Salisbury, Gary Hughes. Number 6, Sean Chicken, Guy Mitchell. Number 91, Keith Drury and Richard Webb. Duncan Tollers and Will Jones take the second flag. 
It was number 60, Richard Thomas and Kevin Woodley. In third place, it was number one, Kevin Stevens and the unknown passenger. Fourth place to number 71, that's Sean Conway Baker and Sean Woodley. In fifth place, number 75, Ray and Yano Glasscock. Now the finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 30.53. 1 minute 30.53. Mark Rowe together. 
lap out they go, the quarter litres, mostly two strokes, but I can hear a four stroke buzzing around the back there somewhere. There goes the last lap flag, it's 300 one miles from 75, B Street, 124, Keith Strudwick, 30, Mark Rowe, then Steve Lee. Number 95 in the program. There's the whole BSA, PSA, here a four-stroke button at the back there. Number 159, Rodney Elmore. This is the checkered flag. That's the win. The 300 Wilkie Child. Second place in this race is 75 B Street. Followed by Keith Strudwick. Mark Rowe. Steve Lee. Number 95. Race 37, the 250cc solo open. And I'm going to say my calculations are unofficial. The result win. The result for the race, a win there for number 300, Wogie Giles. Second place to number 75, Lee Street. Third to number 124, Keith Strutwick. Fourth to number 3, Mark Rowe. Fifth to number 93, Steve Lee. Sixth to number 95. Don't know, sorry. Not in the programme. Lee Pittman, I'm told, 95, Lee Pittman. Seventh place, number 571, Bob Denham. Eighth place, number 20, Brett Selby. And ninth place, number 159, Rodney Elmore. No other finishes, the winner's time at 1 minute 20.18 seconds. Seven. 
and 10th place, 216. The winner's time, 1 minute 15.38 seconds. Hard work for him. Into the first turn they go then. 
Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen, the man who started on the top points. Favourite for this one, he's out in front. But look at uh, And look at number five, Andy Hopkins and Lee Woodham getting in there too. They all mean business in this one. Malcolm Goodwin goes back past Andy Hopkins and into that turn they go now. 78. Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen, they'll mean to take this one by Andy Hopkins and Lee Woodham Chris Salisbury really missed that start he messed it up for himself he's caught up with the tail end of the doesn't be able to make any impression there's no slowing up now Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen there'll be no slowing up now they're on the back straight they go, just half a lap now remaining in this one. It's Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen from Malcolm Goodwin and Gary Rockle, Andy Hopkins and Lee Woodhams. The checkered flag goes up. 78, Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen. Left a bit late to punch the air there, he wasn't going to close that throttle, not a second too soon. Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen take the win. Malcolm Goodwin, Gary Rockle salute the win. Andy Hopkins, Lee Woodhams in third place. Official result in a moment. Show your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, to some of the fastest trimmers in the country. The win, of course, going to number 78, Lionel Cox and Grace Hagen. In second place, it was number three, Malcolm Goodwin and Gary Rockall. In third place, number five, Andy Hopkins and Lee Woodham. In fourth place, number two, Steve Kensington and Paul Hanna. In fifth place, number six, Sean Chick and Guy Mitchell.
Please, there'll be a St John's collection at the gate. Give as generously as you can afford to. Can we have the little girl, huh? Can we have the little girl, huh?